You know, when I watch the news, I get this sense that everyone has an entitlement. We're in this spot where the government has created, our government has created this system of entitlements where people no longer feel like they have to work for anything, that things are given and that it's expected to be given. You know, the, the effect of an entitlement is people, people give up. When you feel like you don't have to work for something, why would you ever put that much effort into working for something? And then you just create the next generation of people who see their parents in an entitlement system, so then the next generation feels they're entitled to even more and it keeps going and going. And there's just no incentive to change that cycle when you haven't had to work for it to begin with. We cannot be a society that punishes success. We have to allow entrepreneurs and business people the opportunity to succeed without putting roadblocks of overburdensome regulations and too high taxes in the way at every turn. We have to quit making paperwork the number one priority of businesses and letting businesses get back to growing the economy and creating new jobs. I think I probably owe everything to, to my father and my parents and my county, my home, and this country. Being born in this great country and in this wonderful county has given me every opportunity in the world. I've had the opportunity of having a wonderful career in the private sector. I've had the opportunity to be a county supervisor, and now I have the opportunity to run for Congress. And I owe it to not only my parents, but to this county and to this country. Well, he had the opportunity to spend a lot of time with me. He picked me up after school every day, made me ride around the pickup with him, did my homework in the pickup, or didn't do my homework in the pickup. Um, I got to be out and about with him and learn how to work out in the farm and do things with him. And that's just something I'll never be able to to forget, I'm all, I will always be grateful for the amount of time he was able to spend with me. You know, I have this wonderful little boy, Asa, and when I look at him and realize that he doesn't have the same opportunities that my grandparents gave to my parents and that my parents gave to me, I know the most important thing I can do to, in his life is run for Congress and get this country back on the right path once elected. It's pretty cool to have your mom running for Congress. Uh, well, I tell funny jokes. Right. Why did the penguin cross the road? To get to the other slide. <laughs> when the taxes go up, or if President Obama is reelected, that will really get her upset. It's important to vote for my mom because she could probably ch she could probably change this nation and the way each each and every one of us live. John Garamendi and I have almost nothing in common. John Garamendi is a career Bay Area politician looking for a place to get elected. I'm a county supervisor serving in the heart of this district who truly cares about the constituents in the seat. When you have somebody who has a voting record similar to Nancy Pelosi's, you know that he doesn't understand what we need in Northern California. You know, people ask me where I, everywhere I go, my God, Kim, why would, you want to do to, why would you want to do this to yourself? Why would you want to put yourself out there? Why would you want to take on you know, such a big challenge? And I remind them how important it is to have people who are willing to serve and who are willing to do the right thing because this is the most important thing you can do for our future and for the next generation. And I'll work hard to earn your vote, to give you what you deserve.